Good evening. Hope you like my fashion accessory. Uh, so today I'm talking about two products from Winding Rope, and these are kind of the flagship products. Uh, full disclosure, I don't remember exactly. I think the ball, which I'll talk about in a little bit, I was given for free. This one I was given a discount on. This is just a, a really thick, fat rope. So I don't have huge hands, but you can see I just can't fit my hand around it. Um, so... This is the thick rope from Winding Rope. This is the thickest rope they have. And fat rope like this is actually really hard to get because uh, I've talked about rolling the ropes before in a couple of videos. I think it's a really useful physical practice. I think it's fun to do. I think there's a lot of athletic benefit from it. And eventually you can get heavier ropes, but it's hard kind of to shop around. There's a lot of options. And the reality is that once you find good rope, it's not cheap either. And uh, I know this thick of a rope, I'm guessing it's about 2.25 inches, maybe 2 inch diameter. Uh, it's pretty hard to find. So it's cool that Winding Rope sells this. And I think the weight of this rope, the length is maybe 9 feet. And the weight is, I think, about 5 kilos, so 10, 10 or so pounds. Doesn't sound like a lot, but remember that 10 pounds, it's not concentrated. So if I hold the rope like this, and let's say I was doing some presses, right? Just some basic one-arm press with the rope. It's not the same as a 10-pound dumbbell. It's much more difficult. Why? Because... The weight of the rope is concentrated outside of where I'm gripping. It's all over the place and it's moving. So if you were to just use this as a regular weight, which you can do because it is heavy enough, you don't have to be swinging it. It's really cool in that regard. So again, bicep curls, they feel much more difficult than they would with a 10 pound dumbbell because it's moving, it's a dynamic load, which makes it very, very interesting. And then we can get into some, some other, I'm not even getting into these figure eight patterns, right? There's just a lot of stuff that you can play with this rope that wouldn't work with one of the, the more normal size ropes because they're just too light. They're too light, so you have to start doing kind of those rolling patterns to get something out of it. But this one, you can use just the weight itself. Like, for example, so I can do overhead squats, right? Obviously, it's not heavy enough to really be super challenging. It's more of a mobility exercise at this point, but still something I can do. I can do some shoulder stretches with it, right? So that's a really interesting thing I can do as well, is I can get into some loaded flexibility work, kind of like if I had a, a broomstick with a weight on it, I can do some of these dislocates and a lot of this stuff with the rope behind my back. I can do this really nice exercise as well for shoulder extension, something like that. And I work on holding my hands up. Uh, this is an interesting exercise I can do with this one as well. So like a, a windmill, right? A windmill that you would do with a dumbbell. Like that is just a little bit different, a little bit more interesting. So there's a lot of stuff, and again, I'm not even going into the dynamic circular movements yet. This is just a really interesting thing to use as a weight. So it just gives you a different stimulus. Like it's still only 10 pounds, so you're not gonna get beastly strong from just using this, but it's an interesting stimulus. You can use it as a warm up or just for kind of a light workout session where you're not trying to go super heavy, but you still wanna play around with it. And again, it gives you a lot of stimulus that you won't get with just regular weights because it moves and because the weight is not where you're holding it. So let's get into just a couple dynamic exercises. I'm not gonna get too crazy with this. Uh, the grip is a factor. So anything where I'm swinging it or just even grabbing it because it's a thick grip, I'm getting a lot of uh, additional grip and forearm strength benefits from it. But this is one that I like to do. It's kind of similar so, oh, no, that's not the one I wanted to do, but still good. This is called the dragon roll. So you get a nice chest stretch in the back. You gotta hang on pretty hard. Much more difficult than dragon roll. It's a lighter rope. I'm trying to figure out what was the one. Oh yeah, this one's so similar 
for what you would do like with a Bulgarian bag, right? So I can use, for example, a little bit more hip movement and it becomes more of a core exercise. Or if I keep the hips still, then it becomes more shoulders. Right? Or I can go really slow and then it becomes more of a kind of a loaded mobility exercise. Something like that. And of course we can go classic, move this thing out of the way, and do the classic figure eights, right? You can't cheat. So the thing is with the lighter ropes, your form doesn't have to be, like your timing can be off, your form can be off, but you gotta be on with this one. So that was a regular grip. I can also do grip like this where the rope is under. I can add some elbow. Because of the weight, it's not hitting this tree. Because of the weight of the rope, I have to really get it vertical. I have to really get the timing down. And I can feel, I can feel how it gets heavy at the bottom. So, this is not by any means an exhaustive list of things you can do with this rope. But I think it's a really interesting tool to have. It's really hard to get heavy ropes like this, to get thick ropes, because it's like a, a specialized machine that makes them this thick. So I don't know where they're coming from, but it, it's cool to have, because it's just, again, a way to have a different kind of training stimulus compared to pretty much anything else you're gonna have in your gym. So that is, I think it's called the whale rope. And I'll put uh, a link in the description so you can check that out. And then this is the para rope, which is essentially a monkey ball. Now the rope's not as thick as what I just showed you. It's uh, probably about a one inch diameter. And the ball, uh, they have different weights, but I think this one's about 10 pounds. Again, it doesn't sound like much. When you're swinging 10 pounds, uh, it's a lot heavier than what it may seem. So you got a handle here. I put a little bit of an extra knot in it to shorten the rope. So, uh, cause I'm not that tall. So I can incorporate better body positions. And this super fun training tool. There's a lot you can do with it. There's a lot that I won't do in my backyard because I don't have a ton of space. So for example, to just basic figure eight, right? I can do like that with a hand switch. It's really versatile tool to work on some of your rotational movements. And because it's so heavy, again, 10 pounds is a lot for these kind of movements. And because it's not a mace, it's not rigid, you have to really be accurate with your positioning and timing. Otherwise it, it kind of jolts you and it feels a lot heavier than it should be. So you really want to keep tension on the rope the whole time. And because of that, you learn a lot of lessons from it. So also really cool with this, because it is made of rope, it's soft, which means that if, for example, you messed up and it hit you in the shin, it doesn't feel good, but you're not gonna have a massive bruise if you hit yourself. Also, because it's soft, you can use this as a slam ball, right? So that's another really cool element. Right? You can hit things with it. You can, I don't have anything to do it here. You can do sideways. Uh, you can do throws with it. So, for example, like a one or medicine ball throw, like you might see in boxing to develop more punching power. I can go like this and then catch it. Oopa. I almost took out that microphone there, making sure. Still got levels, we're all good. So, and it's fun, that's the other thing, right? It doesn't feel like a workout. It's just a fun tool to play with. And it's just rope. 
it's just rope, you can throw it. So you can do like a vertical throw. Just uh, if you're doing your backyard, make sure you don't throw it. In your neighbor's yard. All right, vertical throw. Doesn't matter where it lands, because it's soft. Uh, you can do, I don't have the space for it, but you can do like, like one of these circular throws, like you would see a lot of track athletes perform. Uh, some movement like for a uh, shot put or hammer throw. This is a cool movement too that I like. Just kind of sweeping it around in a circle, reverse. And yeah, figure eights. Can't go wrong. So, see, I waxed myself, but it didn't hurt. You can do figure eight walks. You can do forwards with a grip change. I like my grip changes. And yeah, really teaches you about keeping tension in the rope the whole time. Because if you lose tension, one of those tree bits in my eye, if you lose tension, you get a bit of a jolt. So, these are two products from Winding Rope. These are, again, kind of the flagship products that you'll see, so they're priced on the higher end. Up to you, it's just rope, but it's hard to find good rope. When you do find good rope, good rope is also uh, pretty expensive. So, we got, I think this is called the whale. The fat rope is the whale, and this is the pair rope. And I don't have a discount code or anything, but I like the company. Uh, I think it's really cool products to support. So you, uh, I'll put in a link in the description for winding rope. But uh, yeah, if there is anything else you would like to see on this channel or you would like me to review, let me know. Otherwise, these are just a couple of training tools that I like to use and just a couple exercises uh, that I do with them. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe and whatever else. And I'll put up more videos at some point when I feel like.